Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alaskan Blue Jay, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And god damn is it satisfying to see us both with this incredibly badass looking taken ship that we grinded so hard for. They're pretty cool. This is the first time the YouTube audience has seen those. Or yeah, also the true. first time the YouTube audience has seen this bad boy right here, the Whisper of the Worm. We've been busy since the last episode was recorded. This sniper rifle, on top of doing an incredible amount of precision damage. This sniper rifle has infinite ammo as long as you can consecutively land headshots. So this thing is broken as hell. I'm sure you'll be seeing some demonstrations of this later in the episode. But for right now, we're going to be doing a quest that Joe and I have been saving for recording. A couple of quests that Joe and I have been saving for when we record it again. Firstly, we're going to finish off the uh, quest for the Ace of Spades. Cade's hand cannon. Unfortunately, uh, I well, will be the only are. one. Unfortunately, I'll be the only one getting it because uh, one of the quest steps is to get headshots with hand cannons in the crucible, and Joe is uh, can't do it. Yeah, shall we say uh, struggling? <laughs> Won't happen. I need twenty-five. I have four. So anyway, as I said, uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna. We're gonna. We are, we are going to do the quest. I am going to get the ace of spades. Uh, and then after that, uh, we I'll are do it going. Some other day. Yeah. And then after that, we're going to go to uh, the Dreaming City, finally, which we are about two months behind on because we have been having a hard time being online together at the same time to record. Yeah. So for this quest step for the Ace of Spades, we need to find uh, Cade's personal caches on Io, Nessus, the Tangled Shore, and the EDZ. So I'm going to check my map and see if it tells us where they are. And if it doesn't, for the sake of time, I'm just going to look up a guide. Oh, look at Jay looking up a guide. You're the one on a time limit. You're talking shit. I'm doing this for you. All right, I have I have the first location. All right. So we need to go to Firebase Hades. Wait a second. No, I was where? wrong. That was we're not supposed to go to uh, Firebase Hades. We're supposed to be going to. Uh, the other, the other place, uh, the Sunken Isles. Because it's inside the Ouroboros Victura. The what? The giant cabal ship that's in the Sunken Isles. It's called the Ouroboros Victura. Oh. Study up on your lore, Joe. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me, uh, figure out a time around my schedule between, uh, recording with you and my full-time job! <laughs> <laughs> and editing, because you're still chained up in my basement. Don't forget that part. Yeah, I know. Where are you? Where did you go? I'm not going the right way. Am I? Look at look at your map. Oh. Nah, I think I know where I'm going. I show up on your map now. Remember? Yeah, that is nice. That's you know to have that feature that yeah. probably should exist. Yeah, that that feature that should have been there since Destiny One. Yeah. It's just weird that little features like that are just like, nah, we don't need it. There you go. There's cache number one. Do you see it? Hold on. Yep, not there. Oh, wait a second. You get a wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I wonder when that procs. There's a buff on my screen that says Cade Stash nearby. Uh. Oh, that's neat. Oh, yeah, okay, so this is... Okay, so it's a fairly wide range. All right, let's see. So this should have notes of some kind. First stake. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's, like, actual... There's actual messages from Cade. Let's have a look here. <laughs> Note from Cade. I think Petra saw me visit this cache, so I'm moving it. Hands off, PV. Don't get greedy. <laughs> um, okay, I have the general idea of where we're going. I want to I want to get to the start of where I saw and see if we can find the cache just by walking through that first general area. So we're going to the Exodus Black. Well, you say we, but you mean you. Oh, that's that's fair. <laughs> I don't yeah, get I, a buff. You you can't see it. You're just kind of along for the ride. Okay, so right, so where are we going? Over here, there's like a little cave system. It's like a tiny, like a canyon type thing. Yeah, you need to go a little further. Yeah, yeah, here it is, here it is, here it is. Oh, it's this area. I've been down here before. So first, well, I guess there's a couple areas that we could check. Because there's that Vex teleporter over there, and then there's also like this further little area of the cave. All right, I'll go through the teleporter, and you go here, and I'll tell you if I find it. Joe. I, I know exactly what I said. Is there a problem? Uh, what? Well, yes, actually. Why, well, yes, there is. Oh, 
Oh, it's in here. I just got the buff. Jay, over here. I mean, you 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 don't know that, but get over here. <laughs> it's definitely over here. Oh god. Oh well, this is a nice little hidey spot. It's is it not, not there? Oh god, it's not. Nope. I just fell down even further somehow. Whoa. Oh, there is another spot. Whoa. Okay, I'm. Uh, Joe, I, th I think we might be out of the map. No, this is fine. No, yeah, we're out of the map. No, we're supposed to be here. Don't worry. No, look up. No, no, don't worry. It's this is fine. <laughs> oh See? my God, that's that's two spots on the same map that we've found where you can get out of the map. I'm gonna have to make another video about this now. I never made the one about the first area where you can get out of the map, for that matter. But oh God, now how do we get out? I don't even know how we got in here. This would be a really trolly awesome spot for a Cade stash, you gotta admit. Yep. I think we're stuck down here now. Uh, I think this is how we die. Jake, I have good news. What's that? I am even further out of the map. Good, good, good job. I can't see anything. There's a couple blue lights, and that's about it. Hold on. I might have found a way for me to get out of this situation. I haven't. I have not. I've just fallen further. Oh my god! You just fell completely out of the map, didn't you? No. I see this, I, but I am in the center of the planet. Oh. Yep. I can see that from where I am right now. Okay, let's... You, we need, wait, you we can need see to, the core? Yeah. We need to... Come back and revisit this later. We need to figure out a way to die. I think I found a way to die. Yeah, I definitely found a way to die. I'm just gonna- I just sent you, uh, the image of what I see. It's literally the center of the planet. No, yeah, I know. I saw it too. I wonder if this is, a, uh, supposed to be a DLC place or something, cause... No, it's- it's Wait part a minute! Of the, no, we've been there before. We have? Yeah. That's that's one of the missions in like the normal vanilla story. Also, I'm definitely stuck out of the map now, so we're gonna have to just fast travel and respawn. Hold this up. is awful. This is awful. Now is it? Oh, oh, oh! I found it! I found it! It was on the other side. I thought this was the spot I was in. No, you were on the other side of the pillar. Over so there. I was really close to being right. <laughs> yeah, you were very close to being right, but instead you threw us into a pit of death and despair. <laughs> oh my god, it's a note to himself. <laughs> hey, handsome, did you forget we moved our stuff again? Don't worry, I know you have a lot on your mind. Love, Cade6. <laughs> <laughs> note from Cade to Cade. Okay, I, I know what you're doing in the background. I know you're just throwing your hammer at something, but because you're a titan, it sounds like you're just banging your head repeatedly against a wall <laughs> while you're waiting for me to look this up. <laughs> Harry! It! Up! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Joe is still very, very salty over the fact that he doesn't have this quest step because he was not doing well in the Crucible earlier. It's really annoying. I love hand cannons. Just not in the crucible. I am a strictly I will kill you with a shoulder charge kind of guy. Yeah, or a grenade. Like, like all Titan spammers. God forbid the Titans have any actual skill in the crucible. Okay. Okay, wow. This is This is a really obscure location on IO. Hurry up, my finger's getting tired. Yeah. Oh, you moved! You ruined the angle! Ha 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 ha! Oh, wow. Wow, that didn't take long. What didn't? We're almost there? Uh, yeah, we- I already have the Cade Stash indicator, so it's nearby somewhere. Oh, I bet you- yep, I- I already see it. Where? I just kind of- I kind of had a feeling just by looking around the room that I knew where it was. It's up there on that ledge. So, we're gonna need to do some hardcore parkour here. Moved the stash again. Need better hiding places. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. We're... 
we're finding these caches in order, and the- the- I'm assuming the last cache is the one that actually has whatever stuff we're looking for to fix the ace. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. So, they're just filled with notes of Kate saying, yeah, I moved it. Okay, and now there's one on the Tangled Shore. And then I'm not gonna spoil it for myself, but... I'm predicting that finding the last cache, the last cache is gonna tell us where it actually is. Mm-hmm. Cause, otherwise that wouldn't make any sense for it to just coincidentally be in the last cache that we find. It's in the Jetsam of Saturn, I- I think... I think I know how to get where this guide is telling me to go. Pretty sure it's up this way. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Oh, this is a big area. Ooh. Yeah. I don't recognize Whoa. this place. Yeah, no, I don't... I don't think I've ever been back here. Yeah. oh... Yeah, there's a... There's a bunch of hive gestation pods. That's gross. Is that what these things are? Yeah. Ooh, hey, I found some lore. Where? You can get this. It's up, uh... Up, 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 up. Ooh. Alright, there's a hole in the floor. <coughs> oh, there's another, there's another hole in the floor. Yeah, it's over here. There's a shiny thing in the, like, on the wall over, over this way. Oh, neat. This, I like this. This cave system is cool. Um... Cause there's three, crawling there's, everywhere. Uh, yeah, well, there's three dimensionality to it, is what I was gonna say. Like, you, you'll look around in the ceiling and there'll be a hole where you can get up to an upper area. Stash isn't in here, but still kind of neat. Oh, hello, Cursed Thrall. Wait, is, is this... No, this, is, this isn't the way we came, is it? I don't think it is. Nope. Th are there guys around? Oh, okay, there, you know, yeah, we definitely haven't been in this area before because I just got the perk. I was gonna go by if there's still people still left alive, then we haven't been here. <laughs> Fair enough. Whoa. Apparently the hive moved in and took this place from Fallen with oddly textureless armor. I don't think they finished this area of the game. Look at that. It's the new style. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so the buff didn't proc until I was like over here. So if it's in this room, it's in- Ah! Oh, no, there it is. Right out in the open. <sighs> All right. Oh, we have a mission now. Okay. Cade's will. Cade's personal stash is on Titan. Fight your way back into the Arcology and claim the parts you need to repair the Ace of Spades by completing the mission Ace in the Hole. Oh, too many players for this activity. Shit. Sorry, Joe, it's a single player mission. Cool. Well, I guess we'll just have to have you go on mute for a second. <laughs> I'll, uh, uh, I will, I will, we'll, we'll let you know when it's time to, feel free to watch the stream if you want, if you don't care yeah. about spoiling it for yourself. Got it, have fun. I'll be here. <laughs> Cade's secret stash. The note said this was the place he hid it. We find the stash. We find the parts we need to repair the Ace of Spades. Nice. Okay, so there's... Hidden personal stashes from Cade. Ah, okay. Cade's stash nearby. So there's ten stashes that we need to find here. Nice to know that it's... More of the same stuff that we were just doing. This one's for ow, 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 ow. If you're listening to this, congrats on killing it. I assume you became a high death god and fed me to your war god. That or you just finally got sick of me. Coincidentally, if you didn't kill me and still somehow hear this, I'm sorry for stealing your ship. And, well, pretty much every other interaction we ever had. But to be clear, if you did kill me, I do not apologize, <laughs> and I will consider all my actions 100% just. <laughs> By the way, feel free to put your rock on my maps now. I don't need them anymore. Oh my god. That is that is simultaneously so sad and so hilarious at the same time. Eris Morn, by the way, she's supposedly coming back in a future DLC. She is a ex-guardian who got trapped down in the hive hell mouth on the moon and kind of became half hive somehow. So she's like a half human, half hive hybrid. She was our advisor on all things hive. And there was a very famous scene. It was one of the first scenes where they actually gave Cade a personality because Cade didn't used to have a personality at all. In the very beginning of Destiny 1, he was just like this super, super quiet, uh, quiet, rather tight-lipped hunter who barely said anything. Just as flat as 
uh, Ikora and Zavala. And then when Taken King rolled around, they actually reprogrammed him to have a sense of humor. And one of, one of his first lines was, they're having a meeting, Ikora and Zavala and Kate are having a meeting, and Eris shows up and, like, throws this hive rock onto the top of Cade's hollow map, and Cade just kind of deadpan turns over to him and says, Eris, get your rock off my map. So that's what that line was a reference to. That's great. Okay, cache number two. This one's for that armless coward, Tanix the Scarred. If you're listening to this, you killed me. But I bet I took a big chunk of your ugly husk with me. Guess Andal Brask wasn't enough for you, huh? You wanted another Hunter Vanguard for your sick collection? I got my share of regrets, sure. But not putting a bullet in you has got to rank in the top three. Won't be long before a better guardian than me puts you in your place. Just wish I could be there to see it. Oh, man. Oh. So much lore behind that that they just made canon. Yes. So another little, another little tidbit of lore for you guys. Um, Andal Brask was the hunter vanguard before Cade. You heard, uh, you heard him mention in the first episode of Forsaken, as he was dying, he said, "Tell Ikora and Zavala that the vanguard is the best bet that I ever lost." And that bet that he made was with Andal Brask the previous Hunter Vanguard, and the bet was that if anyone ever managed to kill Andal, Cade had to take over as the Hunter Vanguard. The two of them were, like, they were bros. They were in the same class under Shax, um, when they had just gotten their light and were learning to be Guardians, they, and then they went after a boss who we did eventually kill in the first game, Tanix the Scarred, and Tanix somehow, I don't remember how, but he did manage to kill Brask. So Cade took over as Andal Brask's successor as the Hunter Vanguard, and that tattered cloak that Cade always wore, the black cloak with the red patterns on the side, that was Andal's cloak. He spent the entire time that we've seen him on screen wearing the cloak of his dead best friend. Oh, chromatic fire, it's so much fun. You team wipe thralls with it. Okay, this is what I was talking about. Little demonstration of the Whisper of the Worm. The Whispered Breathing perk makes my precision damage do 150% its usual amount, as long as I don't unscope. Boop, boop. Just two shot a yellow bar ogre. Yes, please. Oh, hello, hello. Hello, thralls. Boom! <laughs> Boom! Get exploded! <laughs> God, this is fun! This one's for the fellow who calls himself the Drifter. You did warn me running with you would put a target on my back. Guess I'm in good company, though, huh? After all, never had any fun without a little risk. That's the whole idea with the operation you're putting together, ain't it? My idea, by the way, had it like a million years ago, back when you were still handsome. <gasps> So, uh, you're welcome. You know, getting that up and running means coming out of hiding. Giving you-know-who another shot at you. Hope I was around to see that showdown. Personally, my money was on the guy with the golden gun. But hey, what do I know? I'm dead. Damn. Another little lore bomb they're dropping on us there. So, Drifter, the guy who runs Gambit. He is a rogue light bearer who... I don't think he was ever actually even a Guardian, because he had his light before the Guardians even existed. He had his light before the Iron Lords even existed. He's been around a long time. Drifter was alive and using his light, like, either during or right after the collapse happened, where the Traveler went silent. Back in a time when Guardians were considered warlords, and they were all killing each other and basically throwing the world into chaos. Drifter decided, nope, fuck that shit, I'm out. And he went into hiding, and left the solar system to go look for, uh, places unknown outside of the solar system. It was out there that he first encountered the Taken. And, uh, or rather a, like a precursor to the Taken, I think. Because they weren't technically Taken yet. But... 
he found something out there that was using the same darkness-powered energy uh, that the Taken use and exist off of. Oh, there's the cache up there. Which is how he discovered the weapon known as Malfeasance, which is another weapon that I'm going to be trying to get on recording fairly soon, which is a guardian killer. The Taken infused bolts of, or slug rounds that it fires are capable of uh, nullifying a guardian's light, making them mortal. Which is probably why Cade thought there was a decent chance that Drifter had killed him. Because Drifter is one of the few people with the ability to actually kill guardians. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Look at that. That hive... This hive gestation pod looks like there's a worm god in here. Ooh, don't like the implications of that. And apparently another little another little bomb that they drop on us right there is that supposedly Drifter coming out of hiding, he's got someone or something hunting him. Well, someone. He claimed he claimed it was a guardian, specifically a hunter who uses golden gun. It's going to be interesting to see what happens Petra, there. If you're listening to this, you killed me. Maybe the Sobs in all their mysterious wisdom decided they were sick of me. If the queen ordered the hit, I guess I understand. You're a real glutton for chivalry. But if it was Aldrin, I'm pissed. Just thinking about that peacock gives me a headache. But I'm betting my death was not a case of your famous collateral damage. Because <laughs> you're a real do-gooder. Seriously, it's annoying. But good deeds never go unpunished when you're around. You just... You got a blast radius, PV. Oof. Well... It was fun while it lasted. Oh, and uh, tell Paladin Orin, if the sun over Nessus escapes nebula cycle, evac labor after dawn under solstice. You got that, PV? Okay, I got nothing for you guys on that one. I have no idea who Paladin Orin is or what any of that code meant. I mean, cool and ironic that Cade finally had the last laugh on Aldrin by... Uh insulting him from the grave and also some bitter irony that it was Aldrin who took him down. Cade's probably really pissed off about that and whatever afterlife he's in. This one's for the mines behind the deep stone crypt. You think just because you made me, you can unmake me? Hey, I understand. I were you, I wouldn't want people knowing what I did either. Guess you better hope I didn't tell anyone about the crypt. Or about the, um... Uh, what was it? Oh yeah. Long... Slow whisper. Because if I did, that would be real bad for you, huh? I may be dead, but I guarantee you ain't heard the last of me. Ooh, wow. Okay, somebody else that Cade is clearly very pissed with. I have no idea what any of that means either. I've only done a little light reading of the lore for specific stuff, so, I mean, I'm, I'm not a D2 lore expert by any means. One for Soraya Hawthorne. You know, when I told my ghost I'd be making one of these for you, she left. I didn't have to tell you that. Just wanted to make you feel bad. In my defense, if you're listening to this, you did kill me. I mean, if it was a fair fight, mano a mano, I'd win. No question. But I can see you planning on some convoluted, meticulous trap. Some would call that paranoia. Me? I call it being a hunter. So, here's your next hunter lesson. Looking after your own. Speaking of which, congratulations, you are now the proud owner of the curtain. <laughs> sesame seed muesli and drinks purified spring water with a sprig of parsley. Very nice, you two. Wow, that, that, that's kind of cool that Cade held Hawthorne in such high regard that he thought that she was one of the ten people who could have killed him. Also, I love that basically his attitude there was, ha ah, you fucked up, you killed me, now you have to take care of, now you have to take care of Colonel. Suck it. <laughs> like, he didn't even mind. Like, if Hawthorne had been the one to kill him, Cade wouldn't have cared. This one's for any hunter who kills me. Best guess, Marcus Wren? You realize you get my stuff now. All my stuff. Including the Hunter Vanguard gig. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, dummy. <laughs> That's what we call a Vanguard dare. Sucks, doesn't it? Okay, 
Brace yourself for some advice, Hotshot. One, know your people. Like my Nessa scout, Qantas Ree. I like to call her about once a moon, else she gets a little too much night. Not enough stalker, you know? Two, keep your weapons sharp. Your job's to watch everyone's back, which means no one's watching yours but you. And three, start thinking now about what you want to do for your successor's vanguard dare. Because trust me, kid, this gig will kill you. That one was on the off chance he got team killed by another hunter. <laughs> Either intentionally or accidentally, I don't know. Also, I, I definitely think I missed two caches, looks like. But it's nice of the game to give me some of those, uh... Some of those not actually tank tanks. So that I can just drive back in style. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm just, I'm imagining how awkward you must look right now. <laughs> Zavala. Zavala. <laughs> okay. So, I'm dead. You killed me. My stuff is yours. No more working me over at chess. No more getting worked over at poker. For real, though. You know that if you needed to kill me for the good of the city, or whatever, I totally understand. No hard feelings. Nada. You can put this voice recording away and go on with your life. Now, if you did have some kind of lingering guilt or something, that would be rough. Because you and I both know you'd have me yapping in your ear for the rest of your days. You wouldn't be able to help yourself. Okay, that's accurate. Kay definitely knows Zavala very well. It's a nice little personal touch to know that Cade knows that Zavala beats himself up for everything. Hi, Igora. So you know I'm making a bunch of these, right? I probably told you. Mm. I always gotta have the last word, and I'm gonna be prepared for every possibility. But to tell the truth, this one's the easiest to make. So long as we're being honest, I could never tell if you really like me that much. Ooh. But, uh, well, if you did hate me, the feeling was not mutual. In fact, yeah, I'll say it. Don't even mind that you killed me. I figure if we threw down, first off, no one can blame me for losing. And I know you'd be in the right. So, thanks, I guess. You were a, a good friend. Better than a guy like me could hope for anyway. So, yeah. Thanks, Nakora. For everything. Oh, no. Okay, firstly, in response to that message, god damn, that's heartbreaking. Cade was so confident in Ikora being in the right that he even said that if Ikora killed him, he knew it was for the right reason. Secondly, that's really disturbing because that's a hive worm god. That is straight up a hive worm god swimming around in the ocean. That is terrifying, and now I know why there's so many hive here. This one's for the strong silent type. You. Could have Congratulations, buddy. I mean that. Always knew you'd outdo me someday. And if that means you had to do me in, too, well, you saved my life on Nessus, so I owed it to you anyway. Take care of the Ace of Spades, will you? I'm not just talking about the maintenance. Banshee can help you with all that. I mean, take care of Ace. Use it well. Oh, hey, and if you found any of those papers from my earlier... Uh, deployments? Burn them. Don't want people poking through the lives of Kate Zero through Five. Oh. So just put it all behind you, okay? Every story has an end. This is mine. Wow. Bravo. Bravo, Bungie, you finally learned how to tell a story. Shit posting aside though, seriously, that is that like that's the most immersed in the story of Destiny that I have ever been. Although I'm still just fucking heartbroken that it had to be Cade to die to revive the story. That was all really good. Like that's that was a good look inside what Cade was thinking and feeling for pretty much the entirety of his life there. I wish they could have like, I mean, this is heartless as fuck for me to say, but I wish they could have found just as good of a well-written story and just as good of a way to kill off Zavala. 
Either that or Zavala is gonna have to have a hell of a character arc because Zavala is a shadow of the Titan that he used to be. Zavala has always been kind of the hang back and be tactical type, but he wasn't afraid to make a move in Destiny 1. He was like, okay, we have an enemy, we're gonna make a plan and we're gonna beat the shit out of them before they can even get close. And then we got surprised by the Red Legion and Zavala doesn't even want to leave the tower. I just really hope in the DLC in the future that they find a way to bring Cade back. That just hurts. As somebody who has loved that character for close to three All years now. In place. Ace of spades is good as new now. Take it when you wield it. Remember. Remember. Oh, wait a minute. Mm. Hey, have you seen Cade around lately? Oh, no. Poor Banshee, his memory is so broken that now he's forgotten. All right, Ace of Spades is back in pristine condition. Oh, and they brought back the Firefly perk from Destiny 1. Precision kills with this weapon, increase reload speed, and cause the target to explode, dealing solar damage to nearby enemies. Very nice. Yep, and high caliber rounds. Called that one. Corkscrew rifling, greatly increase range and stability. Oh my god, this thing. No wonder people are calling Crucible the Ace of Spades meta these days. Well, alright, time to get Joe back in here. So that we can go do the Dreaming City, which will happen in the next episode. Oh, I love it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Joe. I, I can leave and let you do your thing. That's fine. You know. Joe. Yeah. Oh yeah, my I'm god, just, it's beautiful. I'm just gonna go. They blow up twice. Alright, uh, you keep doing what you're doing. Um, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> And, uh, update, Joe is still salty over the fact that he could not get his Memento Mori up. By which, of course, I mean Cade's will. Don't mind me, Joe. I'm just speaking, uh, I'm just speaking nonsense. You're used to this by now. Uh, I found a little bit of lore here. Oh my god. The Firefly perk and the Chromatic Fire perk. It's beautiful. <coughs> they blow up twice. They blow up once with solar and once with lightning. It's a bit absurd. It's ridiculous, and it's amazing, and I love the fuck out of it. Oh my god. Dude, Memento Mori is just broken. It's so good. What is Memento Mori? Reloading after a kill loads the magazine with extra damage bullets. Grants radar while aiming down sights. Is that another perk of the Ace of Spades? Yeah, that's the intrinsic perk of the Ace of Spades. It's so good, and the effect- can you see this? Cause it- when the Memento Mori is active, it like sets the mag on fire. Yep, I can see that. That's so cool! I think I know what Joe is going to be grinding for in the future. I think he's a little too- I don't wanna have to do Crucible! <laughs> but you're going to- I don't to. like PvP that much! I like Gambit because I reckon Gambit! Yes, because you have the broken weapon for Gambit. No, because I'm good. All right, all right. Beyond the Watchtower. Ooh. Ooh, okay, we're back here. Oh, we're back where? In the, uh, the, the final... Oh, the now I'm here. The final boss fight. Oh! Back. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Now let's get up there and help our friend. Petra right. crossed the gate, is that what he said? Yeah, so Petra crossed the gate into... So I guess the Dreaming City is maybe in a different dimension? That's kind of cool. This place is all corrupted right right now, so yeah, I don't all, know if it's, it's a different dimension. It's all taken -y still, but hey, at least the spider was nice enough to send us some backup. For reasons we don't know. Well, we have been doing him a lot of favors. Okay, so the Memento Mori perk... ...does not reactivate upon reloading again, I notice. But it does, like, the increased reload speed, it's, it's like, it's as good as Outlaw, if not better. So, yeah, this is a fucking broken gun. Okay, this Taken Blight is shielding that boss. No, thank you. There's a boss? Open the gateway. Not for long. Yep. Nope, not anymore, there's not, Joe. I took care of it. <laughs> Alright, time to activate the gateway. 
what are we doing over here? Did, what? Okay, so did we just. Oh, okay, the ghost is. Let's go. Working on. Stuff. <coughs> yeah! Wow! Look at that. Okay, so that's like a. We'll be there soon. That's a portal. It was probably supposed to lead someplace else. But yeah, then this it got is well. This. Uh, I mean, Aldrin. Aldrin was. Aldrin was dicking around with it uh, to uh, to let that darkness thing out. The voice of Riven, that final boss from the campaign. Before she went to war, Queen Mara left me with three orders. Protect our people. Hide our secrets. Believe in the plan. I have protected. I have hidden. I have believed. Now I want answers. I want to know what drove Aldrin to madness. I want to kill whatever evil has crept into the Dreaming City. And most of all, I want to see my queen again. I want to know that she lives. Wait, what? She's a bit desperate. Yeah, all right, yeah. So it was definitely, it was Riven that was, um, that was messing with Aldrin. Who's Riven? The raid boss. Something pulled Aldrin to um. the watchtower. Petra came here to find answers, and she asked you to watch her back. I'll be here to watch yours. Let's get to high ground and find her. Okay. I don't know the raid boss. He, uh, it's... It's not, it's not, like, exactly the darkness, per se, like we thought at the end of the campaign, but it's definitely an agent of the darkness, whatever it is. Uh, my ghost said you're awoken. Do you feel anything? Uh, no, that, that didn't happen for me. Well, because you're not awoken. Yeah, no. I get, no. like, personalized. The little, the little differences are cool, yeah. So the Dreaming City got taken over by this darkness and they Whoa. locked it. There, Petra's ship. Follow her. All right. Yeah, Dreaming City got got. It used to be purely Lore. belonging Bones. to the Awoken, and that something took it over. Yeah. Oh. All right. A little more lore. Oh. Those women used to be Awoken. Okay, so they may not exactly be taken then. They're Awoken, taken. Taken, Awoken. Are Instead they? of whoa! Holy crap! All right, uh, back on the ascended plane, I guess. No, yeah, this is definitely this definitely has to do with the taken. They pulled us into the ascended plane, I think. Do I need to do anything? There's my question. Uh, I don't know. Do you? Not when you have the ace of spades blowing up twice. <laughs> if I kill fast enough while Memento Mori is active, if I get a precision kill on the last bullet. Then I can reload and immediately get it back. So, this is gonna take some time to get used to. Jesus. I can definitely understand why Cade loves this gun. Was that necessary for two orange bars? That one was a yellow bar. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. You, Look, watch the stream, Joe! Why would you come here? What the f There is no place less suited for the likes of you. Walking in the dreamland of your enemies. Who are you? What the? Don't don't shoot it. Miss him. He was being a jerk. Okay, Joe. Joe, look yeah. look at me. Look at me for a second. Okay. I need you to take a look inside yourself real quick. I want you to find the salty about crucibleometer, and I'm gonna need you to dial it down like five or six <laughs> notches. Okay. Am I to be your virgin? A guide? A shepherd? No, no, no. Who the hell is Toland? I don't know, but he doesn't like us. Well, I think he's... I mean, it probably has something to do with the Awoken, and the Awoken, as a general rule, don't really there like the Guardians. It is a place of scheming queens and traps unsprung. Then why are you leading us somewhere? The dreary plain, forlorn and wild. Fair point. The seat of desolation, void of light. Blind above an abyss, full of trust for a friendly voice. You're playing right into her hands. Cool. Who's her? I'm assuming. Whoa! Oh, we're back. Never gonna get used to that. 
Okay, I'm assuming he was referring to Mara Solve right there. The thing is, I said it earlier, I think it's unlikely that she's still alive, but Aldrin was definitely supposed to be dead too. And he apparently turned up in here. Well, he turned up... Uh, something happened. He got exposed to the darkness somehow. And it possessed him and made him think his sister well, was alive. Well, just, it just said, though, it just said that something happened to Aldrin here, in this place. So, somehow, with whatever happened with Oryx in the first game, it spit him out here. Yeah, but I don't know how he would have gotten here, because the place was locked. He shouldn't be able to get out. Also, did you notice that the Hive and the Taken are just next to each other and okay with that? Yes, because the the Taken are Hive, Joe. We've been over this. Oh, yeah. They're... They were created by Oryx, the king of the hive. Oh. Uh, they're, they're the same faction. Oh, wait, there's Petra's ship. Where's wait, Petra? What? Where? Right above us. Right here. Oh. <laughs> oh, do you mean the giant, great hulking ship floating right out in the open? That is that the ship you were talking about, <laughs> Nope. It's the other. It's the one behind it, actually. Oh, wait there. Oh, that's a boss. Oh, hang on. I got this. Oh, another one? Alright, I got this too. Boop. Bang, 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 bang. The only way this could be more broken would be if you could have Ace of Spades and Whisper at the same time. Yeah, the three much. best weapons in the game. Guardian, you made it. Hey, there she is! Wow, you look different. I know what happened to Aldrin. I've seen the evil that we face. I have to tell the Queen or we are lost. Okay, explain! There. Watch this. The Queen is... Marisol, my queen, are you there? Can you hear me? Damn it. Calibration looks good. Signal is strong. And the offering... Wait. Her eyes look all right. The offering is missing. Well, I. The offering? This is an oracle. It can do nothing without an offering. Maybe I can override <coughs> it somehow. Wait, I have like 57 we'll small around. gifts. Does that count? <laughs> Talk to, Talk to Petra. Optional. 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 Oh, what happened to Aldrin? There is an immense creature at the heart of this place. But I cannot say more. The Queen must be the first to know. I'm sorry, my friends. She's dead! We understand. Where is everyone? We evac just before the Taken War. Queen Mara ordered everything to be locked down. Then she and the Techian sealed off the Watchtower. And Mara made a deal with the spider. Protect it, and she would turn a blind eye to his businesses. No one was supposed to come back here until everything was safe. You're lucky to see this place, you know? It's sacred. Outsiders are forbidden. She probably said something different to you right there again. She said she's glad I'm, ba I'm here to see this place. I yeah. deserve answers. <laughs> yeah, she said, uh, to me, she said you're really lucky to see this place. Outsiders are forbidden here. And this place, this city. The Awoken built hidden cities like this throughout the reef. In some, we live and raise our children. In others, we build our weapons. We train our armies. Or we used to, when we had armies. Here in the Dreaming City, we learn from greater powers. We meditate. We transcend. This is our most sacred place. I see. And this machine? The Techians call it an Oracle Engine. They say Queen Mara used it to walk between realities. No one knew where she went, but they used the Oracle to learn from her while she was gone. Mara has told me it's much more than that. Perhaps you and I will see. Someday. By the way, Mara was the first Awoken, from what I understand. How old is she? Very. She's not even a guardian, though. Yeah, I know. That's kind of... See, the thing is, that's that's why I... I wouldn't have a super hard time believing it if she were still alive somehow. Because... The timeline just doesn't make sense. Because I'm pretty sure I read in the lore that she was a scientist who... Like, she's the one that stumbled on whatever turned the first batch of humans into Awoken. But, by the way, that thing that she, that she just talked about, she said there's something massive at the center of the city. That's Riven. Mm -hmm. um, uh, okay. That's the, it's this giant, I caught a glimpse of it in this, in this video of the raid, and it is one 
ugly motherfucker. It's just this giant, it looks like a, it looks like the head of a bat. And whatever it is, it's gotta be directly connected to the darkness in some way, because Riven is the thing that drove Aldrin crazy. Alright. So that's what she's talking about. That's what she's, she wants to get through, she wants to get through to the queen, somehow, to, uh, warn her about, uh, about Riven. You talk about her like she's alive. Aldrin did too. Aldrin was not himself. He believed he heard her voice. I believe she lives. Why? She had a plan. She always had a plan. Queen Mara does not fail. But whatever it was that spoke to Aldrin was not my queen. It was that thing. Did you see the Queen's Techians? I'm not sure. We were attacked by three women while we were trying to find you. That's them. Mara's most trusted advisors. Corrupted by the Taken. Those women raised me. If there's a way to save them, we must take it. The Techians are uh, like the like the Awoken. They're, they're kind of like shamans. During the opening cutscene of Taken King, Editing J, go ahead and throw up that footage here. The battle in which all the Awoken were just decimated by Oryx's army, Mara and the Techians kind of made like a diamond of four of them and conjured some kind of Awoken magic that sent this massive barrage of... You, you know how the the, uh, the Centurions fire those Axion bolts that seek you? And mm -hmm. then you have to shoot them? It was like that, only they were made out of light instead of darkness. It, like, destroyed the shit out of all of Oryx's frigates. It took down every ship except the flagship, the Dreadnought. And it just... Uh, like, you, you know, you picture like you hear like a gunshot ricochet sound where it just goes <laughs> That's essentially what it did. And then Oryx released this massive wave of Taken energy that just ripped apart the entire Awoken fleet. So the Awoken and have powers without being guardians. Supposedly, I'm again, I'm no expert on the lore, so I'm not sure exactly how that's supposed to work. I'm assuming it'll be explained eventually. But basically, Oryx blew up the entire Awoken fleet and everyone was supposed to be dead. So there's a lot of, there, there's so many questions about what's going on here. We need to get this working. I must speak to the Queen. The fate of the Dreaming City is at stake. This place is nicer than I thought it would look. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a very nice looking place. Oh, that headshot though. Mmm, crispy. Oh, hello. Oh, okay, this guy's pretty tanky. Cool. Joe, Joe hit him. Not quite a hammer ha -me ha but it'll do. Yeah. And he's about to die. Yep, I nice. blew his head oh, off with a hey, grenade. what, who, what? Offering, offering to, to the, the oracle. oracle. Hey, that was quick. How convenient. We found an offering, Petra. The Scorn had it. I should have known. Oh, uh, Vengeful thieves. oh. Hmm. Bring it up here. Okay, I guess the scorn got around us and started trying to take down Petra uh, while we were away. Apparently, a poor choice on that on their part. Wait, what happened? Oh, well, there's a bunch of dead scorn. Yeah, there's uh, there's two raiders and a captain just lying dead here. She has powers too. Now that I think about it. Wait, what? Petra. I don't think so. She does the floaty knife thing. Yeah, but that's, that's powers. That's, that's not necess that could just be technology of having a floaty knife. Having I feel like if it, she, it if could be the that, world's first RC Stabinator 3000. Listen, if that were the case and Cade knew about it, he would have had one. That is an excellent point. Okay, we're going with Petra has powers. <laughs> I want to see if there's a description on that offering to see what it is. Petra Venge. <gasps> Mara, you're alive. I'm so I mean, Holy fuck, she's queen. alive! And I see you brought the Guardian. Yes. Forgive me, Your Grace. But I have news. Your brother, Prince Aldrin, is... Dead. I know. Of course. He... His soul was corrupted by the Taken. He suffered from delusions, which I now believe were caused by... Riven. Yes, my lady. She too has been taken, as have Kali, Shuro, and Sidia. 
So many loved ones turned against us. Tell me what to do, my lady. Please. Assemble a team, Petra. Send them into the heart of the city. Kill that creature and extract its heart. I offer the riches of our realm as bounty. Open the gates and let the guardians in. Oh, boy. I must go. The battle rages on. If you have news, send it. I will answer as I am able. Stay strong, my wrath. I believe in you. You were right. Yes. Mara Salve, Queen of the Awoken, lives. I'm going to get my ship. Meet me when you can. Whoa, what? Okay. Holiday history? Holiday family history. Well, uh, I guess that's the end of that episode. Okay, visit Amanda Holiday in the tower, apparently. Well, I guess we better go investigate whatever that is real quick. So, Riven's another one of those people, apparently. Pe what? Huh? People? What? Uh, well, they know who Riven is. Riven was another corrupted person of the Awoken that they had. No. Whatever. You sure? Because they just said Riven as well as uh, what's her name, what's her name, and what's her name, and then they said so oh. many loved ones turned against us. Well, maybe well, maybe Riven was... Riven might be the most powerful one of them, and that's why she is so dangerous. Riven is not any kind of humanoid, though. So, well, either, either, this got particular, real corrupted. Either, either this particular Awoken got extremely corrupted, or Riven is something else entirely. Maybe she was a giant bat. I wonder if Riven is what they found that made the Awoken the Awoken in the first place. That would be weird. Like, if whatever that was got corrupted by Taken energy somehow. Good news for you, Guardian. The Tex Mechanica Weapons Foundry is sponsoring a Crucible tournament. Reward is the Chaperone. Ah. Reprised and refitted. I'm helping him with the contest, seeing as how. The Chaperone's based on Mama's old gun. I hope you win. So that's the quest chain for getting the Chaperone. I have to do more Crucible! <laughs> oh, shotguns are easier. <laughs> well, cause she, the Crucible is... I mean, the sh yeah, shotguns are easier, and the Chaperone <coughs> is a Crucible shotgun. There's no other reason to use it, really. But it's a slug shotgun that will one-shot on a headshot from a very long range away. So you have to be good at aiming it. Like, if you can find an enhanced shotgun targeting mod, for example, then it would be just as broken as my, uh, as my Duke hand cannon is, aim-wise. But, okay, yeah, so, I'm, I guess that's it for now, and now we can go to the Dreaming City, yes? Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I am, I am of the dead. <laughs> Anyway, so cool. Joe's tagging out. We're gonna call. We're definitely gonna call that the end of the episode. So, thank you everybody for watching this episode of Destiny 2. Feel free to chat with us in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, help me out by leaving a like or subscribing if you want to see more. And we will see you all next time. Catch you later.